2 diabetes, the one that's on the rise, uh, it is genetically uh, transmitted. So it's something that usually runs in the family. Why, why do we have so much of it now versus 20, 30 years ago when we, you know, the genes take thousands of years to change. They don't change overnight because of the diet. You know, our food is a lot more processed. It's, it's the type of food, so we're eating a lot more sweets, a lot more processed food, and also it's the additives in the food. You know, there's certain things, there's a lot of these uh, genetically modified foods, uh, th chemicals that add it to preserve the foods. Those also by themselves induce diabetes. They, they, they uh, disrupt pancreatic function, they disrupt insulin sensitivity. So our ancestors, I don't know, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, even the type of food they were eating was a lot more natural. Uh, uh, so we're eating worse, we're eating a lot more processed and, and uh, uh, high sugar foods and juices and drinks, and the quality of food uh, plays an important role. We see this uh, in uh, people that come from uh, Europe, from Asia, where there's a lot more restriction on additives. To the states, they're like you know, I'm eating the same type of food, but I when I came here, I got I gained weight, and because we don't uh, in, in the U.S. we don't have as much restriction on additives and things like that as they do in other countries.